Hello students, how are you all? Now you'll be able to climb infinite peaks in maths because now you are having support of Ashish sir. Welcome to this PW English platform and in this today's video I am going to show you how you can score 95 percentage in your maths CBSC paper in just 60 days. Yes, you are listening it perfectly. If you are scoring about 60% now, with this strategy from 60%, you can move to gradually 70, 75, 80. If you are scoring nearly 70 or to 80% with this strategy, if you follow this strategy for 60 days continuously, you will be able to score 85, 90. And those students who are scoring 90% now, with this strategy, you are going to become topper of your school, your district, your state. And... CBSC as well. Now let us see what I am going to cover in this strategy. I, am, I have divided this strategy into two parts. Very first part will be based on your paper pattern. That your paper pattern is containing how many sections? For each section you are going to get how many number of questions, what will be total marks and what is the time duration. In second section, I will discuss about your preparation strategy of maths. That how you have to study about mathematics, how you will study or how you have studied till now. All things we will cover, your past, your present and your future. For NCRT, whether you have studied old or new. NCRT exemplar, many students have referred R.D. Sharma as well. So here we will discuss about R.D. Sharma as well. About or any other books as well. Then we will go for your PYQs, formulae, mistakes, sample papers, your majority of doubts I am going to cover over here. Okay, let us see. So let us start with your paper pattern. So if you see your paper pattern students, your paper pattern comprises of five sections. The very first section contains MCQs. In these MCQs, your 18 questions will be of multiple choice questions and two questions will be of assertion reason question. Assertion and reason I know. Uh, that you guys know very well. The 20 marks contains <coughs> of uh, your 20 marks comprises of MCQs. Now, if you focus on this 20 marks, if you are topper and you want to score 20 out of 20, you shouldn't skip any chapter. Mind well, yes. If you want to score 20 out of 20, you have to go through all the chapters, all the concepts. You should be knowing so many strategies. You should be knowing so many shortcuts as well. Okay. If I talk about next sections, next section is a very short answer questions, which is having two marks per questions. Two marks into five questions per section. This comprises of 10 questions. Here you can apply strategy. You can do analysis of previous year questions. Okay, from these topics, we can expect two marks questions and that will be used for here. Even in short answer questions as well, which comprises of three, uh, six questions of three marks each, which will give you 18 marks. Then you are having 5 marks questions of long answer in which you can expect 4 questions and it will give you 20 marks. And last section is your case study based questions that after COVID from 2019-20 this has been introduced. You are going to expect 3 questions which will comprise of 12 marks. Now from my experience what I have observed that last few students students from last few years are afraid of from assertion reason questions and case study questions. Don't worry. No need to afraid from these sections. If you practice enough questions from all topics, then you will be able to score all the marks from these two both sections. Yes, assertion reason and case study question. Soon, we are going to start our God booster batch. And we are going to cover each and every type of variety of questions. Okay. Let us discuss about your chapter wise analysis. See, this chapter wise analysis is called rough analysis. From your 100 marks of mathematics, 80 marks will be given by this subjective paper. 20 marks depends on your school performance. In this school performance, internal assessment generally. They are giving you 10 marks from your school activity students. School, they will give you some activity based problems of mathematics, activity based projects of mathematics. And remaining 10 marks are from generally your school behavior during whole year or your school pre-boards marks 
from your uh, what i can say marks from your school pre boards one two generally few schools are taking two pre boards few schools are taking three pre boards like that so the very biggest highest weighted chapter or topics are from calculus because your portion is majorly from calculus it comprises of 35 marks. then you can see linear programming contains 5 marks this both together are of 40 marks in board booster batch i am going to cover calculus and linear programming avinash sir he is going to cover all the remaining chapters relation and function algebra vectors and 3d geometry and probability so 40 marks of weightage of chapters are going to covered by avinash sir and remaining are going to covered by now if you want to score your marks higher than your actual marks like from 60 to 70 70 to 80 80 to 90 90 to 100 then first you need to analyze your weak chapters and your strong chapters yes from this criteria you need to identify your weak chapters and your strong chapters from this weak and strong chapters you will be able to get the idea that from your strong chapters you can score this number of marks and from your weak chapters this many marks of questions are going to come so you need to plan accordingly okay i'll guide you up among them sir so i will guide you about that also that how you can strengthen your subjects how you can strengthen your topics and how you can strengthen your weak areas as well yes just you require ample amount of practice and a perfect guidance let us see your next topic is generally many students are asking that sir in which sequence we should go we should go from NCRT to NCRT exemplar or RD Sharma. So every time I'm telling students that when this is when you are on that position that you are having only 60 days before exam, at that time you shouldn't ask me that sir, what should I do now? <laughs> shall I read NCRT? Shall I read NCRT exemplar or shall I read RD Sharma? First, you have to tell me what you have read till now. Yes. During the entire year or last seven months, six months, which books you have followed? There are two NCRTs, old as well as new. You have to refer to new NCRT only. And there might be many students who might have referred old NCRT because of JE examination, uncertainty of JE mains, J advance. So please strike off your deleted portion and go to new NCRT only. Right? Because now from recent JE mains analysis as well, or from recent announcement of JE mains, that your JE mains examination is going to comprise of new syllabus only as per your new NCRT only. This old syllabus is going to be useful for other exams only. During whole year, if you have solved NCRT exemplar, then you can revise it. If you haven't solved, you should not revise it. Similarly for RD Sharma. Now few students will tell me that, sir, for few chapters, we have solved all three. For few chapters, we have solved only two. And for few chapters, we have solved only NCRT exemplar. So for that, I will tell you, please make one self-assessment report. Yes. What is this self-assessment report? Let me guide you. In this self-assessment report, just you have to analyze yourself that during past 6 months, 7 months, 8 months, for all the chapters, that is from chapter number 1, chapter number 2 to chapter number 13, how many books you have followed? NCRT, NCRT Exemplar, RD Sharma or if any other thing if you have followed. Just you have to tick mark for each and every chapter. So this will give you clear cut idea that what you read during entire year. Majority students are doing mistakes that during entire year they are learning other things. They are reading other material and in the end they are reading other material. No. It should not be like that. There should not be discrepancy between these two. First, you have to revise all the material which you have read during your entire year. So, suppose for chapter 1, you have finished all of 3. For chapter 2, you have finished only 2. And for chapter 13, you have finished only 1. Not an issue. Just first revise whatever you have read. That's it. First, you revise whatever you have read. And in these 60 days, then, in these 60 days, then gradually you can move to cover uncovered topics. Like, Gradually, you can move to NCRT exam. If you are not having time for RD Sharma, you can go for only RD Sharma solved question. And if you are not having time for RD Sharma, uh, 
uh, for, uh, for solved questions as well, you can skip that, not an issue. Few students who are telling that, sir, I have read all NCRT, whole NCRT, how many marks I can expect? So, with NCRT, if you club PYQs, with NCRT, if you club <coughs> sample paper, you can reach towards 80% in maths. With NCRT, if you have read RD Sharma, only solved questions as well. And if you club mock test, if you club practice test, if you club, uh, add uh, sample papers, you can reach towards 90% in maths, 95% in So, now your next question is, sir, so whether we should cover unfinished portion or we should start testing, you should start testing, students. For one month in 30 days, you can plan to cover this remaining portion. You can plan to cover remaining portion in 30 days. Then next 30 days, you have to focus on testing only. Now, how you should give testing, let me guide you. And before giving testing, in these 30 days, you have to make your formula book very nicely. Yes, for mathematics, formula book is key to success. So, for mathematics, whenever you are reading, revising all the concepts, you should write all formulae, not only important, all formulae, each and every formula that how to prove any function as 1 to 1, any to 1, matrices determinant, how to solve linear equations, how to, when we can say that the system of linear equation is having solution, is not having solution, each and everything you have to write, as well as n methods. This you should be having for each and every chapter. You can take one thin notebook and you can make. Yes. Where this will be helpful to revise. Whenever you will be having next exam. So before that, revising all the concepts, this will be very much. Even you can do one thing. From NCRT, whenever you have solved all these chapters, suppose from chapter number 10, you have solved 15 questions. From those 15 questions, 3 questions are covering all the methods. So, with this formula and chart, you can add those three questions as well. You can add those three questions from 15 questions. Means these three questions are going to represent 15 questions. So, when you are going to revise all chapters, you have, you do not need to do all the chapters. You do not need to solve all the problems. Just you have to read all the formula. Just you have to read all the methods. And after that, just you have to solve these three questions which are representing this 15 question. Yes. Now, next 30 days, you have to focus on testing only. Yes. You are hearing me correct. Now, students are asking me, sir, how many tests we should give? Students, frankly speaking, minimum 10 tests you should give. Minimum 10 tests. Now, students are asking, sir, for this 10 tests, we should focus on previous year or we should focus on sample papers. CBSC is giving you one sample paper. And for other from other resources, you can get these sample papers. So, how many sample papers or how many previous year papers I should take? The students still last year syllabus was different. And from this year syllabus is different. So, from previous year question papers, you should take 3 to 4. 3 to 4 previous year question papers are enough. Yes. Because you should not get confused between what is your deleted syllabus and what is your latest syllabus. From latest sample paper, you can take 5 to 6 papers or 6 to 7 papers. 6 to 7 papers you should take from latest portion. Yes. Now, while solving this previous year question paper, you will get the idea that how questions were asked. And while solving sample papers, you will get the idea that how it is going to be in future. Second thing, you can refer to any material, even our PW has launched 15 sample papers for class 12 boards, you can use that. And even in board booster batch, we are going to provide you so many tests. Yes, and this test will be of part test as well as full test. We'll give you test covering uh, little, little portions first, initially 3-3 three, three chapters, 3-3 three, three chapters. And in the end, we'll give you 1-2 to two full mock test as well. So, with word booster batch, you are going to get this revision as well and with this test testing as well. Now, the thing is how to attempt this test and how to analyze your errors. For that, this is the best part of today's video, that is error correction book. Many students are telling that, sir, we are making so many mistakes in mathematics. So, students, if you analyze your mistakes in mathematics, your mistakes are of two parts. Yes, 
ऑलवेज टेक योर मिस्टेक्स पॉजिटिवली यस दिस इज द बेस्ट पार्ट ऑफ मैथ्स देर इज वन एड ऑफ पंडितर्जन पाउडर इन हिंदी एज वेल दैट यू कैन सी दैट सम दे आर टेलिंग दैट दाग अच्छे हैं दैट मीन्स दैट स्ट्रेन्स आर गुड स्ट्रेन्स आर नॉट गुड बट दे आर टेलिंग अस टू सी द पॉजिटिव अप्रोच दैट यस स्ट्रेन्स आर गुड वी कैन किल इट सिमिलरली मिस्टेक्स आर गुड वी कैन kill it but how we can kill mistakes first we need to understand source of mistake so source of mistake can be from your concept that is if you have done mistake in any question chances are there that you have put on you have put wrong formula you have used wrong method or another chance is there that there is one calculation error not an issue so for now all these two types of error you have to make one separate book that book is called error correction book suppose you are giving any paper sample paper one previous year question paper of 2023 previous year question paper of 2022 you have to write that name and whatever error you have made you have to write that sir this was the question number 1 i made this error i i have written determinant of adjoint a you can write anything as per your error That I have written determinant of adjoint a is equal to determinant a to the power n, but actually determinant of adjoint a is equal to determinant a to the power n minus one. This was my mistake. Another mistake you can write in your form that depends. Whatever mistake you have done, sometimes uh, suppose you are solving any determinant. While solving this determinant, if there is five, four, two, three, this five fours are twenty, but you have written nine minus three two is a six. So sir, this was my mistake, and the original answer is twenty minus six. so what will happen while you make this mistakes or while you make this error correction book whenever you are going to attempt for next exam first you will revise all the concepts from your formula book then you will see that who oh, this were the mistakes which were done by me yes and your subconscious mind will get alert and whenever you will write next paper subconscious mind will guide you beta you have done this mistake earlier beta you have done this mistake earlier and with the help of this formula book and error correction book you are going to increase your marks which i promised you in the beginning of this video that students if you are now at 60% if you are now at 60% surely you can move to 70 80 and 90 with this approach from years and years i have provided this method to students and i have seen students to grow from 60% to 70% to 90% yes it all depends on how this strategy is you are going to follow for next 60 days now this is your turn follow this strategy for next 60 days and share your result with us and from so many of you students i am going to i would like to see you in next board booster batch till then bye everyone